So should you get the all new iMac with M1 chip that was announced today, or should you get a Mac mini M1? In this video, I'm going to talk about all that and break it down for you, so let's get into it. How's it going, y'all? It's Ben Aqua, and Apple just dropped a ton of new fire today, including a new iMac with M1 chip. There's also a new iPad Pro with M1. There's AirTag, there's a new Apple TV, and some new podcast subscription stuff. But in this video, I wanted to focus on the new iMac, which looks extremely delicious, and compare the iMac to my Mac Mini M1, and help you decide if you should go for the new iMac with M1 chip, or if you should get a Mac Mini with M1. So first of all, this iMac just looks bonkers beautiful. Like I immediately saw it and I was like, I need that in my life, even though my Mac mini M1 is totally fine and I love using it on a daily basis. It's my daily driver, but now I'm having a mild existential crisis because this new iMac with M1 chip just looks insane. It comes in seven different colors and I mean, just look around me. I love me some color. That yellow one looks just crispy as hell. The orange one would match my hat or something. I think it was a really smart move for Apple to create a completely redesigned iMac with a bunch of different colors and with a new Magic Keyboard with those same colors that comes with that machine. So you're basically walking home with a new iMac design that's only 11 millimeters thick, which is insane. I think it's a beautiful design. I mean, Apple to me just blew it out of the park. Again, it's incredibly minimal. It's even more minimal than the previous iMacs. And I think it's really bold of Apple to even take away the Apple symbol from the front and make it even more minimal. So when it comes to the specs of each one of these computers, at least internally, the iMac and the Mac mini M1 are extremely similar. Both computers, of course, come with an eight core M1 chip, up to 16 gigabytes of memory, up to two terabytes of storage. I will have to try out one of the new iMacs with M1 chip just to see how it compares versus the Mac mini M1, but just based on these specs alone, they look very, very similar. So you'll probably get about the same amount of speed and efficiency of the processor. The operating system will be identical on both the iMac or the Mac mini M1. So that said, what are the differences between the iMac and the Mac mini M1 and which one should you get? The main difference between them is obviously the Mac mini M1 is a small computer that does not come with a screen or a keyboard or a mouse or trackpad or anything. The Mac mini M1 is just a small box that comes with a power cable. It doesn't even come with an HDMI cable, USB-C, none of that. It's just a box with a power cable and the brilliant M1 chip and all those awesome internals. My particular model is the 16 gigabyte Mac mini M1 and I am really, really satisfied with that. It just blazes through, you know, photo editing, video editing, music production. And by the way, if you wanna check out my music, search for Ben Aqua on Apple Music or Spotify or wherever you get your music. You'll find all my stuff there stream all my stuff, share it with your friends. I highly appreciate your support. And yeah, the Mac mini M1 has just been amazing for all of my production tasks. Another amazing thing about it is the fan has not gone off once. And this is when I have, you know, a bunch of tabs open in Safari. I'm editing video, I'm exporting a video. I'm also working on music, like everything layered on top of each other. The Mac mini M1 runs incredibly smoothly. And I'm imagining with the efficiency of that M1 processor and also the iMac that the iMac will be, you know, just smooth sailing. It'll be super cool to the touch and barely any fan noise to be determined. So the iMac is meant to be an all-in-one type of computer, and that's the main difference between the iMac versus the Mac mini. The iMac has a built-in display. All the internals are also in that display. The iMac also comes with a keyboard, and in this case with the new iMacs, the keyboard has a new Touch ID sensor on it, and that keyboard alone looks extremely beautiful, and I would probably buy that keyboard alone if I didn't get an iMac, but I love that this new keyboard also matches the color of the iMac, so you're getting everything, including the keyboard and a mouse, in that package with your iMac, and the iMac is more meant for people that don't really wanna mess with, you know, getting that external monitor and having to worry about which keyboard to get, which mouse or trackpad to get. So if you don't really like to customize a lot of your computing experience, I would say definitely go for the iMac. It's gonna be just as fast as the Mac mini M1, but everything is already there. You don't have to buy anything extra. But the Mac mini M1, also starts at $699 versus the iMac with M1 that starts at $1299. And those are the base models. So of course, if you wanted to upgrade the RAM or the internal storage or something, you'd have to pay a little bit 
more of a fee. So the Mac mini is a lot cheaper than the iMac, but you also have to think about the cost of a monitor, which could set you back another 300, 400, 500 dollars, etc. on top of that 699. So that's already almost the same price as the iMac. And then you have to think about your keyboard, which could be another, you know, 50, 100 or maybe even 200 dollars. And then you have to get a trackpad or a mouse, which could be another 50 to 100. So when you're getting all the peripherals for your Mac mini M1, you could be actually spending more on the Mac mini plus all those peripherals than just getting the iMac. And another cost is if you're doing a lot of Zoom calls or FaceTime or something, the Mac mini, of course, because it's just a computer, it doesn't come with any type of camera or a microphone. So you're gonna have to think about getting that external webcam or getting a USB microphone where the iMac is really handy because it has a built-in newer 1080p camera. I'm a little confused why they haven't put a 4K camera in the iMac at this point. Like it's 2021, what are y'all waiting for, Apple? The new iMac has upgraded speakers which I'm really curious to try out and better microphones internally. So you don't have to get that extra microphone if you don't want to, if you just wanna do basic FaceTime calls or whatever, you don't really need a fancier microphone or an external webcam or anything. Everything is built into the iMac. It's just ready to go from the box. Another thing to consider is if you like larger display sizes, this new iMac was announced at a 24 inch display size, which probably will work for most people, but I have a 27 inch 4K display from Dell. It's a Dell UltraSharp that works insanely well with the Mac mini M1. It's a beautiful display. It's not gonna be as fancy as the Apple displays because Apple displays are just insanity. Even my iMac from 2015, which has a 5K retina display, that display is the best display I probably have ever seen. And this Dell display does not even come close to that iMac. And these new iMacs with 24 inch display, I mean, those are probably gonna be absolutely insane. However, there's only a 24 inch version of this new iMac and they don't offer anything bigger than that. So I would imagine that Apple at some point would probably release some kind of iMac Pro with M1 chip or something or M1X, you know, something with an upgraded processor and a bigger screen and upgraded internals and all that. But as is the 24 inch display might be a little small for some people. So long story long, should you get the Mac mini M1 or the 2021 iMac with M1 chip? I think it really comes down to a couple things. Price is definitely the first thing if you want a cheaper setup. I would definitely go for the Mac Mini M1 because it only starts at $699 for the bonkers base model and that will be plenty of computer for most people. And then you can get a monitor for a couple hundred dollars, you get your keyboard, you get your mouse or trackpad and it'll probably add up to about a thousand dollars or so. That's the cheaper option that would be totally fine. But if you have a little more of a budget and you like the kind of all-in-one experience with the amazing Apple display, get the iMac. There's a webcam already in there. There's built-in microphones that are much better. It's also the upgraded speakers. It comes with a keyboard and a mouse, so it's already ready to go out of the box. So hopefully this video helped you make your decision whether you should get the iMac with M1 chip versus the Mac mini M1. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I love to see y'all down there. Be sure to smash that like button if you found this video useful or helpful. And since you made it to the end of the video, I commend you and I admire you as a creature in this matrix. And I would like to invite you to join me in my Discord channel. And to get that VIP Discord link, hit me up on Instagram, follow me on there, and then send me a DM and be like, yo, I would love to join the House of Aqua Discord channel and I will send you that VIP link. So that's it for this video. I hope you have an awesome day. Go out there and make some amazing stuff and I will see you in the next video.